Hi, welcome back to the Tracking Success channel and in this video I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up YouTube video tracking in Google Tag Manager. Um, if you want to measure how your audience interacts with your YouTube content uh, right from your website, um, you're in the right place because I'm going to teach you that how to set it up in Google Tag Manager web container. First of all, we're gonna create a trigger for the YouTube, so call it YouTube tracking trigger. Trigger configuration, here you can see YouTube video as user engagement. Um, then you can capture a lot, like progress also. I will put here right 10%. 25, 50, 100% and you have to uh, check out this box at Java, Java script, JavaScript API support all YouTube videos that helps for better tracking. Now press save, now go back to uh, variables. Um, Google Analytics has built in variables but they're not all configured uh, automatically. So you go to variables, configure and here you select all the uh, video built-in variables like this and the last thing we have to do is create a GA4 event tag to um, yeah to set the data from your website to Google Analytics so we go to tags uh, create new tag Google events YouTube tracking Tag configuration, Google Analytics, select Google for events. Then you will have to set up your measurement ID. As you can find in your Google Analytics, go to admin, data streams. And here you will find your measurement ID. Copy, paste. Then we have to fill out the event name when you search for GI for enhanced measurements. You can see um, here for video, uh, this is all the these are all the events you can track, like video engagement, video start, video progress, video complete. So we go in this case for video start, then go back to Google Tag Manager, add in the field name, and here you can add the parameters, and here you can add all of the parameters you've just added, like the variables. Like video current time and video duration and I will will come back if I done them all. I'm back. I added all the event parameters and now we uh, gonna choose the trigger and this is the trigger we just made the YouTube tracking trigger and press save and now we're gonna see if it works by going to the preview modes. The preview mode, I'm sorry. Uh, fill in your website URL and connect the uh, Google Tag Manager debug mode. Then you will have to search for a, a video like this. And as you can see, it's connected in the right corner. Now you're going to click on the video and we're going to see if Google Tag Manager is detecting the video. As you can see, here we go. Google Tag Manager preview mode works. With YouTube uh, engagement, YouTube video tracking, this is everything he fires. And when you go to Google Analytics, you will see uh, also the data from it. So that was really it. Um, this was a video on how to set up um, YouTube video tracking with Google Tag Manager. And in this way, you can track all your videos on your website. I'll see you in the next video.